Hi viewers, welcome to this channel. Before you watch this video, please subscribe to this channel. So I am going to upload the Power BI end-to-end -end projects. So this is the part one video, and I will be uploading SSIS, SSRS, SSAS projects also in addition with the SQL Server projects also. So let's start. So here the first step you need to do is you need to get the data in the power bi desktop so for that one you will be having an option called get data so if you click on that one you will be having different sources so if the sources of data sources type excel type you can use excel work workbook so if you have any data sets so from data sets also you can load the data if you have power data flows created so you can load through the data flows also so similarly if you are a database file so from that uh, sql server if it is of sql server type so you can you can up, upload the data by using that one also so if you are having analysis services for so the, if you want to drag the data from that one you can use that one if you have the file type as csv files what we are going to use now in this project so you will be going for this option so if you have any web address so you will be using that web option by copy pasting that web link so if you want uh, to load uh, all files at a time which are inside a folder so for that one you need to click on that more what i have clicked there so it will be showing you so it will be showing you this many options so folder option so if you click on that one all the files will be loaded at a time if you want to load the pdf type of data so you will be using that one so see remaining all other types of uh, data sources you will be having but now i am not going to use any folder but i am going to use the csv type of files so so this is the first csv total one two three four five six seven eight nine files i am having so first one i am going to upload that is addresses it is connecting to the addresses.csv so everything so this is the visualization plane you will be having so everything will be loaded to the fields here whatever you upload will be shown in the fields so it will be asking for load transform data cancel so uh, initial we shall uh, load the data next we shall transform the data so load so once you load so it will be asking for apply changes so you need to click on that one so see now creating connection in model so all oh, the addresses file which is of csv type is going to load into the fields that is power bi desktop so see now here you will be getting the addresses file which we have loaded to the desktop of power bi so all the nine items has been loaded successfully so this is how you load the data by using different data sources in this project we have uploaded through the csv type of files so you will be having on the left side parents and if you click on the second one all the tables can be shown here so the selected table will be shown with its own data so i have selected the first one for example address so the data will be shown along with the these tables so if you want to transform the data if any so you need to do that one so this is the third component that is the relationships so once you load all the tables the relationships will be formed automatically so if you want to close like this so see this all the nine tables will be existing here so according if any modification should be done you should be doing that one if you want to zoom out and zoom in so you can do drag this one the bottom so one two three six seven eight nine so this is how you load the data to the power bi desktop now what we shall do is the second step is to transform the data if any present so for that one we need to go to here and so all these tables will be 
loaded if you click on the transform data so go to the transform data transform data click on that one so here we need to check all these things valid error empty so the valid should be 100 percent remaining should be zero percent so if you look at here 54 distinct 54 unique values other side so remaining so also showing the same thing and the first thing you need to check is whether the header columns are showing names or it is showing column one column two column three if it is showing column one column two column three you need to change that one so for addresses it is not showing column one column name but it is showing its own names so let us check the second table business partners so business partners is also showing the headers with their own names and uh, each and everything is having 100 percentage but uh, if you uh, look at the fax number it is showing empty 100 percentage so means all the columns were filled with the null value so leave that one so otherwise if you don't need that fax number you can select that column and right click and remove that one so right now i am not going to do anything there and uh, remaining things i am going to check for validity of 100 percent so if you look on the top all were 100 percent so this also clear under the now third table employees table so it is also having their own names as the headers 100 percent so this one lot many of empty columns were there here so those things i am going to remove because those are of no use so in the product categories the headers were created by their own names and everything is 100 percent no need to do anything the first column of dimension table should be having distinct values that is no duplicate should be present and go to the product category text the headers are shown with column one column two so on so for that one what we need to do is so use first row as headers you need to select that means this product id will be brought here language will be brought here similarly the first thing will be brought to as a header so for that one click on that one so see here the column names has been changed and here you are having medium description as this null i will be going for the next table that is products so those are having their own names and everything is 100 percent so here so many empty values were there but i am not going to remove them so i will be using is blank so next one is product text so see here again column one column two so those need to replace uh, with the use first row as header those has been changed to their header values and uh, those everything as 100 percent is but here it is showing empty percent as uh, 18 percent is so this longer description is having null values no need to consider now so that one has been transformed now sales order type items so it is having its own header header names so now if you check for the validity so it is showing optimum OS uh, 100 percent is empty the last one is sales order so it is having its own header column names and uh, validity if we check so note id it is showing empty 100 percent is so those should be valid 100 percent is if any nulls leave it as empty so after that apply so whatever you just transform the data those steps will be shown on the right hand side on each table 
where we click so see here all the data were loading now with the transformer data into the power bi desktop so once you click on close so the transformer data will be present now everything has been changed with their header columns what we have transformed so this is how you transform data in order to form the relationships next thing is you you need to form the relationships by going into this uh, relationships tab so that is there should be a connectivity so for that one what i will be doing is so we need to arrange the tables by following their relationships so that we can define the dimensions table and uh, we can define the fact table so it is <coughs> snowflake schema i have applied here generally you will be having two types of schemas one is the star schema and other one is the snowflake schema in the star schema the dimension table will be directly connected to the fact table which is in the middle but in the fact uh, in the but in the snowflake schema there won't be direct uh, connection between that each and every table so there will be relation between one from one table to the other table so if you look at here so i'm going to bring this one to the other side see here so everything has been related to the sales order items so this is how you form the relationships by using the power bi desktop so this is the part 1 of the video and in the part 2 we shall start with the dax functions and some uh, visualizations and uh, in each part i am going to extend uh, the dax uh, so this project is a big project and it won't be ending in uh, 1 to 10 so i will be continuing the parts on this project till the everything is clear for the dax and uh, visualizations so before we proceed to the next part please subscribe to this channel thank you so much